Today's plant is one of a small group of orchids called Helleborinas. I guess there must be half a dozen or so, maybe eight different species in the UK, but this is the commonest. This is Epipactis Helleborina, the genus is Epipactis. The uh, species name of this one is Helleborina. Uh, the Greeks thought it may look a bit like green hellebores, the sort of things you might grow in your garden. They must have been very imaginative people, the Greeks. It didn't look anything like a hellebore to me. Um, but it does look like an orchid. And it's really worth looking at the flower, since this is the first hellebore, hellebarina, <laughs> I'm doing it now, hellebarina we've seen. It's worth looking at the flowers because they're quite big. And unlike some hellebarinas, these open fully. Some uh, plants, um, the June Helleborina, for example, the flowers hardly open at all, they self-pollinate. But this one is pollinated probably by uh, bees, other insects. It's a woodland plant. And uh, if you look at the, uh, the flowers, you'll see that they have three, well, I'm going to call them sepals at the back. Uh, and then they have the standard um, uh, orchid shape of having the two wings, the inside corolla, and a bottom lip. But the bottom lip in Helleborinus is really curious because it's been modified so that uh, at the back of the lip is a, a cup-shaped um, structure uh, and at the front there is a little um, front lip, not even quite a labellum, which uh, it folds down uh, at the front of the uh, corolla. And um, if you're technically minded, the cup shape is called a... Um, uh, a hyperchyle and the lip is the epichyle, but let's not worry too much about that. And um, I can see on this one that it's still got its pollen at the top. It has two pollinia at the top of the, um, uh, just above where the hyperchyle is, the cup. And bees will go in, they'll get nectar from the uh, hyperchyle, and the pollinia will stick on the back of the bee or the insect and they'll fly off and pollinate other plants. Typical strategy of an orchid. So it's well worth looking at these flowers. Uh, they are um, a standard orchid pattern. Um, orchids tend to um, uh, have very various shaped flowers but they all, if you look carefully, do follow the same pattern. Um, look at the leaves too, really uh, wide, broad leaves, um, hence broad-leaved Helleborina, and uh, they are spirally arranged up the stem. And that's important because quite a few Helleborinas have opposite leaves, but broad-leaved Helleborina is one of the ones that has spiral-shaped leaves. And they can be quite big. Uh, this one must be about 85 or 90 centimetres tall. They grow up to about a metre. But this is um, a really nice big plant in the middle of a, uh, a quite a nice uh, bright woodland. Um, quite a big population of Helleborinas here. So this is one of our commonest, uh, commoner orchids, and our commonest Helleborina, broad-leaved Helleborina, Epipactis Helleborina.